Let's get started. The overall theme for the upcoming MS-17 beta release centers on significantly improving our existing set of features, which have been very popular on the MS platform for years. Additionally, we will be introducing some brand new features to the mix as well. MS-17 beta is going to be our first introduction of a very well-known security feature called Adaptive Policy on the MS-130X and R models. With this introduction, we can bring SGTs, that is security group tags, to provide IP agnostic security policy to these compact switches. This will all interoperate with Cisco's TrustSec-capable devices all via the cloud dashboard. Next, we are bringing enhanced tooling with RSpan and VLAN-based span. With RSpan, we are enhancing our current port mirroring tool in dashboard that currently is limited to an individual switch. With this enhancement, we are going to have a wizard-based workflow on the switch settings page, which utilizes VLAN as well as a physical port as a source and destination. So from a scale perspective, you can truly span a session from one switch to another switch for analyzing port traffic. We've been putting a lot of work to improve our current packet capture tool. With the intelligent PCAP feature, users will be able to start a capture and view that capture in a Wireshark-like experience directly on the dashboard. The captures will be stored in the cloud and users can share and download them as well. In the future iterations of the feature, users will be able to schedule their captures ahead of time as well. So stay tuned for that. Next, if you have or if you use SFP optics, then keep an eye out for this one. With digital optical monitoring, you will be able to monitor the temperature, TX and RX power, voltage, and laser bias current of the optic when plugged into the switch via the cloud dashboard. The dashboard will alert you if any of these parameter values fall out of the threshold ranges. Moreover, we will display the historical data in the form of threshold-based charts for an enhanced troubleshooting experience. The other feature I am excited to highlight is smart ports. This feature allows for an automatic configuration of ports based on the devices connected to those ports. You can really save a lot of time during initial setup and managing changes. It uses protocols such as CDP LLDP, MAC OUI, and RADIUS responses to automate profile application based on devices connected to the port. This is an incredibly scalable, flexible and automatic port configuration feature that makes network management at scale even easier than ever before. Next, I wanted to highlight the features in the CS17 beta release, which are specifically for the MS390s, C9300-Ms, and the migrated C9300s. The focus of CS17 is to introduce new features and benefits in the areas of security, visibility, and sustainability for our expanding user community utilizing the unified hardware platforms managed by Meraki. Radius caching, multi-auth support, and VLAN to SGT mapping are new introductions in the security realm. Device uptime will be visible on the C9300-Ms and MS390 models. And lastly, support for energy-efficient Ethernet will be a new addition in the area of sustainability. When enabled, this feature will decrease the power usage of a port during time when data activity is minimal. On the next slide, I would like to highlight the security-related features specifically. On the Access Policies page, you now have the option to activate RADIUS caching. This serves as a failover mechanism that stores authentication and authorization responses for use in scenarios where a RADIUS server goes offline. Next, with the CS17 release, we are also rolling out multi-auth support, which will now include the ability to configure guest VLAN, failed VLAN, and critical VLAN. Previously, these options or you know, these settings were not accessible and displayed as grayed out for multi-auth configurations, but now they will become available in CS17 update. 
Finally, from the VLAN profiles page, you can map a VLAN to an SGT, that is a security group tag or adaptive policy group, which provides a differentiated policy for voice and data devices connected to a port without requirement of radius. Lastly, I am excited to share a brief update on the features that are currently available on the dashboard for you to experiment with. Available today, you can explore organization-wide radius configuration, support for sticky Mac and Mac allow list, and various enhancements to adaptive policy like the hit counters live tool, adaptive policy ACL logging, and adaptive policy ACL TCP established. For additional information on these improvements, navigate to your cloud dashboard and go to the organization tab and click early access. You will find all the features related to switching tagged on this page, and the corresponding documentation links are also provided here for your reference. Now I would like to conclude by saying that we really appreciate your input and feedback, and we encourage you to become a part of our community and share your thoughts on how we can improve future updates. This is also a great forum for posing questions and engaging with other users and the product management and technical teams. So thank you very much, and I wish you all a wonderful day.